Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about Winter 21 pre-release features and I'm going to specifically focus on flows and talk about my favorite Winter 21 enhancements. Uh, the number one uh, in my list is being able to trigger a flow on deletion of a record. Um, why is that such a great, uh, such a huge enhancement is because that was one of the biggest um, gap between trigger and flow or process or any other non-code automated solutions because anytime you want to, to fire something on deletion of a record um, you wouldn't be able to do that using process or a flow or a workflow because that's just not supported and you could only do that on an update or a create of a record and the use case if you're not familiar why you would want to fire an action on deletion of a record is there could be multiple reasons um, the use case I'm going to work today with is um, I have an account that is set up to status active so if an active account is deleted from the system by anyone um, you as a business owner want to know who deleted that account and what was the reason what was the account name that was deleted so that would be pretty useful information uh, to know and being alerted immediately so um, let's get started and I'm also gonna start highlighting other enhancements while while I create this delete uh, delete flow okay um, so we are in the new flow and everything looks the same except we now have record is created updated or deleted so that is a new uh, feature hit next and this is something new as well so if you are if you like to check out auto layout um, this is more you'll have the plus symbol you can start adding uh, the comp elements directly from the plus rather than dragging and dropping from the left side I I have tried that but I still prefer the freeform version um, so that's just more like a layout thing not really a functionality difference so once we are here on the record trigger flow hit edit and here now you see a new option that is a record is deleted so just click on that and obviously it's going to say you know give you what what it does it essentially fires um, any action that you'll notify based on trigger um, deletion of a record so um, and the dot dollar symbol record that contains that variable that you are deleting same as uh, everything else and if you want, if you have never tried other other um, flow, please check out my other videos where I explain how to create a creation or update flow trigger. Um, so now I have said before the record is deleted, choose object, and I'm going to say count. Um, so in my use case is that account is active, then I should get that email. Um, so this condition requirement that you're seeing on the screen that is also actually new uh, with winter 21 because uh, until now you were not able to define conditions on directly on the trigger itself you'd have to use a decision element to then define where you want to fire or you know if you have a flow trigger on a creator update where do you want to update that you necessarily don't want to update it for every single creation or update of a record so any action that you want to fire you can actually define the conditions right here and this is pretty big um, enhancement as well because in trigger um, if you have written trigger this is pretty standard uh, requirement or pretty standard thing to do where you can say if if this happens do this so and also now they're supporting and and or and custom condition logic too so that that is really interesting uh, and I I definitely I'm excited to try that out so but for now let's just say type the count type is active that's my condition sorry um, is active equal to yes so I'm just gonna say active equal to yes and hit done so the trigger should only fire when an account of active yes uh, is deleted but any any other account gets deleted uh, this trigger won't run at all so um, what do I want to do uh, let's just go with a simple one I want to just send an email alert to myself if uh, if that happens so I'm just going to say send email, um, notify, and just for fun, let's just create a body as well. So I'm going to say I want to create a text template because that's 
what we usually do for email, email body, um, and add description. And here um, you can say body, and you can pick uh, those those fields from there. So I'm going to say an account name. I can directly pick the name from here using this uh, formula picker. Account has been was deleted by and I can go back and say who was the user who was deleting that so I'm, I can say user.name okay um, so hit done so that's our body and uh, for the subject I'm just gonna say count deleted hard coded here you can also uh, create a text type of variable and use that um, comma separated I'm only gonna send it to myself now and hit done so that's all really I'm doing here in the flow. Um, hit save, count, delete. And this is a before delete for um, all those developers. There's no after delete um, supported yet in flow. Um, so hit save and let's activate this one. Now, um, let's test it out and hopefully everything was correct. And if it is not, we'll see an error right here. So it's active, yes, um, and I'm going to delete it, and we're expecting to get an email. So everything goes well. I didn't see any error. Let me go to my email box, see I have an error. An account was test delete. That was the name of my account was deleted by Fatima. So um, looks like that worked fine, and we also saw that we can now apply record conditions. That, that is pretty big. Um, another thing I want to show is... I'm just going to open uh, one of the flows that I had from before. And you can now actually see the look and feel of this um, field picker has changed. And now you can actually check, um, use this field picker from anywhere. And you can also use, just to show you, uh, multi. So, this was not possible, so you could only get one step, but now you can go to multiple steps as well. So that's, that's, uh, that's really exciting as well. Try out. So I can say current account and get that field here. Okay, so um, we looked at that, and looking at, just to show you how the auto layout looks like, it's going to be like this, and if you notice, the element is disappeared now, and you can only add it from here plus and you can add all the elements directly from here if you prefer that it's really a personal preference okay um, another enhancement that we have is actually being able to debug as a different user so what that means is I, I'm just opening uh, an existing flow here um, hit debug and you will see a new option where I have run flow as another user. So let's say if you're building a flow for an end user and you want to make sure that the flow actually does work for the end user, you can do so by selecting the users from here. I don't have any other users, but um, this is really co cool and will be very helpful because so many times we build the flows and the users probably don't have access to the field or, or the record itself and you end up seeing all these error emails. So now you can just test it right here. Um, one, one Point to note to test that there is a setting under automation if you go to process automation settings uh, you will need to check this checkbox that says enable user impersonation during debug runs so make sure that's checked in order to be able to run as a different user or debug as a different user um, one um, feature that I won't be able to show you today is actually being able to um, use multi-column uh, or multi-column in your flow. If you have seen Perl had DX uh, demos, somebody demoed there and also in the release notes, we do have that, but it's a pilot feature currently, um, which I think you might do at request if you have a sandbox org, you can request it. So 
pilot features usually become available uh, on the Quest. So since it's my developer edition, I can't uh, I can't access that yet. Um, but yeah, those are the features that I found really exciting, uh, and there are many more, not just those and many other enhancements. Feel free to check out the release uh, release uh, notes, and they are categorized as per your interests or topics. You can look into them. Um, there are really cool Apex enhancements as well uh, as for null checking. So check out the release notes, and I can also post a link to sign up for a pre-release org if you don't have a sandbox in Windows 21, you can uh, request a pre-release instance, developer edition, or if you have a developer edition from previous releases, you will be able to, if you just log into that org, it will be already be uh, upgraded to Windows 21. So um, that's all from me for the flow enhancements. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments. Thank you.